Hello beautiful people, welcome back to another episode of Girls That Manifest. In today's episode, I want to talk about discipline and why it is essential to this work. I know a lot of people kind of can have a weird relationship with that word, they don't like it, they're like, no, it means like rules <laughs> and strictness. But the more that I think about it and the more that I do this work, the more that I realize that every single person who has been successful with manifestation has been disciplined in what they did in order to get the results that they wanted. It wasn't just an off the cuff experience. It was through deliberately choosing to see themselves a certain way, to see life a certain way, to see or imagine the life, the items, the objects, the people, the things a certain way in order to manifest what they want. And what I see so much with a lot of people in this industry is how much there isn't discipline. It's very much a chopping and changing kind of thing that's happening. And it's understandable. Like, it's such a big and broad industry and there's so many different techniques you can do. It's very easy to go off and try all of them and move between different ones that you like. But at the end of the day, the people I have seen who have been successful, extremely successful with manifestation, not just manifesting one thing or two things, but like everything that they want, they have been very, very narrow focused and disciplined in a few things that worked really well for them, that were what they wanted to do, that made them feel the way that they wanted to feel, that constantly helped place them in the wish fulfilled right? The end of the state. It wasn't from doing everything there is to do in the manifestation world. <laughs> it wasn't doing every technique and it wasn't doing everything hardcore for, you know, 24 hours every single day, but it was being disciplined every day in the small moments, making decisions, choosing themselves, choosing their goals, choosing their dreams, moment by moment shifting, even when it was so hard, even when everything looked like it wasn't changing, it wasn't happening, it was just never going to look like it was gonna work, they kept showing up, they kept being disciplined. And it's very similar to how anyone in a profession would achieve their goals, right? Athletes, actors, <laughs> artists, all of them become very disciplined in what they want to do, right? Uh, the, the best tennis player in the world doesn't become the best tennis player by sitting on their couch and imagining that they are. Although visualization very much helps. They're out on that tennis court. They are practicing every day. They're trying different things. They're experimenting. They're exploring. They're getting better at their game. And they want to be out there. They don't want to passively sit at home and like just imagine that they're now the best tennis player. They want to be out on the court, right? Same with actors. They want to do the techniques, the practice, the art of acting <laughs> on stage or in front of the camera. They want to do that and they want to do it consistently. And so they continue to practice the, at it and they discipline themselves to be really good at it. But actors have different techniques and different teachers. There's Meisner, there is uh, Strasberg, there's Chekhov. There's totally different teachers who teach different things, but they all get you to the same result. It's the same with manifestation. There's a lot of different techniques in this industry, but you don't have to do all of them. You just have to find one, maybe two, that work for you in the sense of they make you feel different. They create shifts within you. And then you continue to do that day after day to shift you into the state, the identity, the self-concept, the wish fulfilled, the end result. That's it. You don't have to do everything. You don't have to chop and change. You don't have to keep your mind in a state of incoherence, right? We don't want that. We want you to have a very coherent brain, which means having a routine, having a daily practice, which is what I talked about in my last video. The point of this video is if you want to change your life, if you want to change who you are or parts of who you are, and if you want to get the best out of life, become the best version of yourself, and create the things you truly want to create for yourself, you have to get disciplined. There's no way around it. <laughs> you really have to get disciplined. But when you think about it this way, when you look at it from the point of view of how much you benefit from being disciplined in this practice in whatever way you choose, why wouldn't you want to be? 
everything you want is on the other side of it, right? Everything you want, the money, the business, the house, the car, the kids, the love, the travel, all of it is on the other side of discipline, of you showing up for you. You are the one who benefits the most from it. Everyone else who's around you and in your, in your life, of course, are going to benefit, but you benefit the most. It's like paying yourself over and over and over again. So why wouldn't you want to do that? Why wouldn't you want to be disciplined? So my challenge for you today is to get disciplined in one particular thing around manifestation, whether it's a technique or it is a state or it is a whole daily practice like I talked about in the last video. Go all in for seven days, just seven days and see what happens as a result of it just from seven days pay attention to how you feel pay attention to what you're thinking pay attention to what's showing up in your 3d reality and note it write it down pay attention because very quickly you're going to see how going in narrowing your focus zoning in on one or two specific things that shift you are going to create results very quickly but like I said, we can't be scatterbrained. We have to be focused. So that's my challenge for you today. I would love for you to share in the comments below what you want to be disciplined in. So if you could share that with me, that would be great. Let's, let's hold each other accountable. <laughs> and of course, I have a vault of 20 plus free money mindset and manifestation resources that I have made just for you. It's totally free. All you have to do is go down to the description box below, tap on the link, and sign up and you'll get instant access. And that's all from me today, beautiful people. I hope you have a lovely week. I will see you in the next episode.